And Rick is going to kind of touch on something that's a very common question that we hear both in the Facebook group and in support tickets. It's how to add and edit fields that members fill out for their profiles. And we kind of saw an example of that on Brent's site right now. Um, so, Rick, can you tell us a little bit about what this problem is and, and um, how we can solve it? Sure thing, Jason, and thank you very much. Um, so basically what happens is that the website comes by default with certain profiles and certain fields already uh, predetermined, right? However, there are specific scenarios in which you might need to change those uh, those form fields. You might need to tailor them more towards your own industry rather than the generic type of field that we, uh, that we set up by default. So the idea behind today's uh, webinar is to show you how easy it is uh, to modify those fields, to even add new fields in case you need to, and what are the two settings that you need to play around with if you want to hide a field uh, from the from the form itself or if you want to hide it from the live profile. So, Rick, what are some of the – you said that your site comes with like kind of some preset form fields. Like what, what kind of form fields are we talking about here? Big question, uh, Jason. So, for example, like the awards, the honors and awards, Fields like those that come, show up on the listing details form, um, the uh, the the honors and awards, like the uh, the the uh, quote or motto, for example, that's also another one that shows up on the listing details. Uh, preferred forms of payment, those are all different. Like uh, those are different and optional form fields that show up by default on your website. All right, cool. So. Can I want to pass over the controls to you. Can you kind of show us, let's say I wanted to get rid of honors and awards and I wanted to just create something new. Can you kind of show us how we can we can do that? Yes, I'll be happy to. Please go ahead and share the controls if you don't mind. All right. You got it, Rick. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and use this. Uh, let me go ahead and use this website that I'm on uh, right now. You should be, this is just the, the same site. That, Pat was using before. Um, so these are the, let's go ahead and get to the uh, form manager so we can start the edit process. So we're gonna navigate to toolbox. We're gonna open up the form manager. The form that we're gonna edit is the listing details uh, for, for the members. So let me go ahead and search for listing details. Details, all right. Um, the one that we're gonna edit is this one, the one related to the member. All right, so let me go ahead and hit edit here. What, what basically I'm after here are the different form fields that we were talking about before. So I'm just going to scroll down here and we here we get to the honors and awards. Um, if we jump to the, to the member's dashboard, basically this is how it's going to look for them. So let me go to the listing details form here real quick. Um, and this is the form field that we're basically going to work on. All right, so this is a this is a multi multi line text input field. Um, we, we can also play around with that, and that's another easy setting that we have our our disposal. So let's say that we want to change the wording. So honors and awards, it's not basically going to work for me at this point. So I'm going to change this to my uh, favorite colors. All right, and I'm going to switch this from a multi line text input field. I'm going to switch that to a drop down. Drop down select, just um, for the purpose of this demonstration, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and add some colors here. So green, comma, red, comma, blue, comma, white. All right, and come on back. All right, let me go ahead and save this here real quick. All right, so now I'm gonna save the changes and hit okay. All right, just gonna finish loading here. So after doing this, well, what I'll do is just go back to the form that the member is going to, reg to fill out when they're registering uh, on my website. And now here we have the form field that we changed. So my favorite colors, and here we have green, we have red, blue, white, and black. Can, so can, let's you, say, can you save that so ahead. we can save a color so we can see it on the, what it looks like on the member's profile page? Of course. So let me go ahead and choose green, and I'm just going to save this. So let me scroll down and hit save. Real quick. There you go. Save and process. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump to the public listing.
And here we have my favorite colors and the color that was selected, which is green. Okay. So super easy. Is there a way to get members to save that information, but if you don't want it to show up on the, the public profile page, so it's just saved internally by the member? Yes, uh, and it's super easy as well. Uh, the, those basically are the two settings that I briefly mentioned earlier. Let's go ahead and check those out. So I'm gonna jump to the form and scroll down. Um, okay, so here we have my favorite colors, right? Um, let me open up this here. Um, and what we have here is show in display view and show input view. So the show in input view basically makes reference to the form field that the member is going to fill out. And then show in display view, it's basically what's gonna show up on the live profile. So if I switch this to no, and I save the form again, even though the information has been saved, uh, meaning that the, the member has shared this information with the website owner, it's not gonna show up on the live profile here. So let's wait for that to finish loading. And let's go ahead and refresh this. So there you go. The field is no longer showing up here. Um, if we refresh the listing details form, you'll see that it's still going to show up here, right? That's awesome. Yeah, I think one of the number one things for, especially when you're first starting your site, because that's when you're spending most of the time setting up your site, is how can you add these custom fields um, that the member fills out so it's more in line with your industry and, and the, the market that you're targeting. So how would someone go about creating a brand new? I know that you modified the honors and awards. Let's say we wanted to just, let's say we, there's like 50 pieces of information we wanted to collect from our members. How can you create a new type of input field that the members uh, will have to fill out rather than just modifying one of the, the existing ones? All right. So yeah, re repurposing is always a good way to go. If um, yeah, if you if you can modify what's currently there, it's a lot easier. Um, but actually, creating a new form field in itself is it's nothing complicated at all. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna also add it to the listing details um, form that we're on. You're gonna click this button here in the top right corner. It says new form field. All right. What we're gonna add here is uh, my favorite motorcycles. All right, so this is going to be the new form field that I'm going to create. Um, here on the field type, um, I also need to select, of course, the field type. I'm gonna go ahead and select the drop down select as well, uh, like we did before. Very important, you need to add a database variable name. So when you're creating a new form field, you need to, you need to create where that information is gonna be stored in the database. And just simply by adding a database variable name, you're basically going to create that. Um, so I'm gonna call this motorcycles for now. Nice and simple, right. yeah. Nice and simple, correct. Um, the other thing that I, it's important to note is that when you're creating a new one, in order to have the right uh, layout for the for that specific form field, you need to use the following CSS class. It's called form hyphen control, all right? So super easy, form control, that will give it the nice layout that all the form fields have. And finally, I'm just gonna add the options. So here I'm gonna add a, a few brands. So I've got the Honda, um, comma, KTM, comma, and BMW, super easy. All right, so now let's go ahead and save, um, save the form fields. Bear in mind, Jason, that I've just saved this here in the top, but you can always play around with the location of the form field, right? Um, what I'm what I'm basically trying to say is that if we go back to the uh, jump back here to the members dashboard to the listing details form and we refresh the page, um, this should show up on the top, right? So my favorite motorcycles. Um, nevertheless, you can again uh, play around with the location, so we can grab it and drop it under the personal quote or quote, quote or moto, sorry, um, and then just save it, save it again. Keep playing around with it and hit OK, and then you're going to be set to, to go. Um, now, you, you keep clicking that edit button, and there's a lot of confusing options there. Which one is the ones that I really need to worry about or, or be concerned with? So here, I, I recommend the, the, my favorite motorcycles that we created, and I'm going to show you which ones. 
the one that's labeled show in display view and the one that's labeled show in input view. Those are the two that I would recommend focusing on. Okay. Do you want me to explain what they do? Well, the display view one decides if if the information is filled in, if it's going to show on the profile page or not. Um, what Can you show us what the input view one does exactly? We haven't set that to no yet. All right, let's do it. So let's switch this to no. Um, what that will do is that it will hide it from the from the form so that the member doesn't fill it out. So if I save this, let me just save it real quick. Hit OK. So bear in mind, we're, we're addressing the My Favorite Motorcycles. So it's currently here under because that's where it was. But if I hit refresh, then it's no longer going to show. Gotcha. Super simple. So you can add stuff. You can make them drop downs or um, just te regular text inputs. Thank you for sharing that, Rick. No problem. My pleasure, Jason.